And I think when we get into high performance homes, one of the biggest misconceptions is they cannot be as uh, have any aesthetic to it or any design. Like everyone just thinks high performance is like, oh, it's got to be maybe a really square modern box and I can't have any architectural element to that. Right. And to that, I, I would say, no, if you if you look at it from a design perspective, design should be leading um, the vision of the project. So, and with design, what you do is you take the client's requirements, the client's objectives, and find the best solution. So as a designer, I'm always a big believer that we're not to be creating something that's what we want for the client. Really, we are of service to them. So we need to understand what their requirements are, their lifestyle, their family requirements, all of that stuff, and then come up with a solution. We're basically problem solvers. So come up with a solution to solve that family's uh, problem that they've come to you with. And if someone comes to me and says that, hey, I want a high performance home, and most designers and architects are just giving me a box, that doesn't have to be it. There's reasons why they're proposing a rectilinear or a square shape, because it's the most efficient form in terms of thermal bridging and such. But if the client's priorities is for aesthetics over the performance, then that's a conversation that we can have and, and see what outweighs which. In high performance design, it's not a prescriptive path which says that as long as you do this, this, and this, you will get that certification. It's a performance path, which is what I like about high performance homes, is as long as you can meet this performance, you can do whatever you want. So it's more of an end result measure than, okay, here's a book and follow it. And all of the code is changing towards that. You know, in the 80s and the 90s when we were building, it was very prescriptive. At the back of the building code, there was wall assemblies that you can pick from and that's it. Now, it's open to your creativity. As long as you solve the uh, standard that they want of air change, of, of R value, all of that stuff, then you're good to go. And that makes it much more, much more uh, possibilities for whatever design you, you can come up with. And whether that's a traditional home with different shapes or just a modern box. And...